Alright guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Modern Warfare 3 campaign, which is actually due out, I believe, next Thursday, if I've done my timings right. It's due out on the 2nd of November, and of course, this is the first bit of content, Modern Warfare 3, full content that we're actually going to have and be able to go ahead and uh, take full advantage of, especially if you guys have gone ahead and ordered the Vault Edition, you do get to play the campaign up to two weeks early prior to the uh, release of the game. Now, the game does get released, obviously, on the 10th of November, which everyone is extremely excited for myself especially and just to get away from modern warfare 2 modern warfare 2 is just not being a great game in general the movement's been rubbish the gun balance has been rubbish the whole game is not being great it's just felt like a continued beta from the modern warfare 2 beta now we've had the taste of the modern warfare 3 beta weekend which we had two great weekends of that and it's just been so sluggish and it's just draining draining really to wait for the brand new game but you guys let me know down below what you think you know have you enjoyed modern warfare 2 have you not are you excited for Modern Warfare 3? Like I said, the campaign is around the corner and uh, there's a lot of information that was kind of leaked in regards to the campaign at the end or towards the end of the beta. Now, of course, during the beta, we did get a lot of rewards over the two weeks. So there were different calling cards, emblems, XP tokens that you was eligible to unlock. Now, all these unlockables do obviously transfer into the full release of the game that you got. We also got at level 30, we got a skin that we could use, um, an operator skin, which is a nice red uh, plastic looking kind of skin. It does look pretty cool. I don't know how it fits into the Modern Warfare 3 era light, but we'll maybe find out throughout the campaign or something along those lines. And then we've had quite a lot of different information on the build up. Obviously, we had all the different trailers. And then we also had the 21 Savage music video recently, um, which were kind of advertising, obviously, in regards to the Modern Warfare 3. So there was a lot, like I said, there was a lot of rewards that we could go ahead and unlock within the first couple of weekends. But then also, we did get a lot of information information in regards to the campaign missions on what potentially could be coming. Now there was no exact campaign names released of each mission or exactly how many missions. I believe there was around 30 code names, but some of these code names potentially could be the exact name of some of the missions in the game. Now of course campaign is not something that's played that much or it's you know you, you play it once you complete it, it's done with it's not as much talked about. But in the past Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 we got early access to the campaign and then in regards to a play the early access to the campaign we also had the chance to go ahead and get loads of rewards through that whether that being operator skins etc in fact what we actually got in that campaign we did actually go ahead and get four different operators uh, I remember Nova was one of them there were Hutch and a couple of others uh, but we also got a weapon blueprint the Union Guard which I believe was an M4 weapon blueprint and then we also got an emblem what is done is done and then we got a lot of double XP tokens and double weapon XP tokens and I believe if you complete the campaign I think you got a, a battle pass XP token. I do believe we got that, but I can't remember exactly. You know, it was like 12 months ago now. And then also we did get a calling card, uh, which were the, the soaps calling cards. So there was a lot of rewards throughout the campaign. I think in total you got something around about 10, 15 uh, rewards throughout the campaign just by completing it. Just by getting to certain stages in the campaign, you did get different rewards. And then obviously by completing it, you did, well, you would have had the full set of the rewards, which was then also available to use in Modern Warfare 2 and also in Warzone which these are going to be transferable into Modern Warfare 3 as well. So in regards to those rewards there was a nice chunk of rewards that was you know could go ahead and use just by playing the campaign. Now before we've never had such a thing in the campaign we've only been able to play the campaign once it's done it's done it was just a sense of achievement just by being able to complete it and enjoy the storyline as well so it'd be interesting to see what the storyline in the Modern Warfare 3 campaign will be. Now there has been a few things in the data files in regards to what potentially could be coming in the campaign for our rewards but I don't think we'll get any official announcement on what you can get until potentially the day or the day before the launch of the campaign and um, but it does look like we are going to be getting rewards once again so it does look like we are going to be getting ourselves some new operator skins and uh, potentially actual operators that are going to be in the game so a brand new operator so you guys are going to want to go ahead and play the campaign and unlock it so then obviously later down the line if there's any com challenges or anything to get an operator skin that looks pretty damn awesome then you guys will already have the operator unlocked to go ahead and use that there's also going to be double weapon xp tokens battle pass tokens etc in there as well which is pretty much confirmed from what the data miners are find and there'll also be a completion emblem and calling card but in regards to weapon blueprints there's something in there but it's not stating obviously what weapon that would be and it's exactly the same with the operators you know there's not much there that we can find it looks like you know sledgehammer games are trying to be very quiet because they want to make sure 
everybody's going to enjoy the game and make sure there's not that much leaks and keeping it all hush hush until obviously those guys can get his hands on it and then they can announce it then we can get even more excited once the game's out because everybody's excited for this game like i said modern warfare 2 has been a bit of a drag these last couple of weeks but it's been a grind that we've had to do of course we've got the brand new gully camo that's just come in so it's been a grind trying to get all the souls and also completing the haunting event so we can get all the extra rewards there that are also all transferable over to the brand new game at the minute there's not much content really going off in modern warfare 2 we have got a potential live event and and the reload the season 6 reload potentially coming as season 6 is going to be lasting all the way up till the 5th of december just before the end well the start of the season 1 of modern warfare 3 and the new warzone map so obviously all the rewards that you're going to get now are all transferable so you need to be making sure you stack up any of your double xp tokens we double weapon xp tokens and all that good stuff and of course in regards to warzone dmz is going to be ending rank play is going to be ending and that's all in a matter of a couple of weeks as soon as modern warfare 3 lands dmz and rank play will be ended and you won't be able to play them until later on next year i do believe it's roughly around season 3 time that you guys will be able to go ahead and play them and of course we have had a few leaks of the season 1 roadmap i have gone ahead and showcased this in a previous video so if you guys haven't seen that then feel free to go click on it and check that out and i'll link it down below for you guys to go have a watch of that there's a lot of information on there and potentially obviously the leaked images could be 100 accurate sometimes they are a little bit um not quite accurate but most than it usually is so i you know there's plenty of content constantly coming out for modern warfare 3 so you guys definitely want to make sure you have subscribed to this channel and turn on the post notifications because i'm here every single day posting call of duty content whether that be news tips tricks best class setups all that good stuff for your faces just so that you have the whole lowdown on what's going on with call of duty but if you guys are super excited for modern warfare 3 and you are excited to go ahead and play the campaign if you've uh, pre-ordered it let me know down below as i'd be very much interested to see what you guys uh, thoughts and opinions are on everything but if you like say if you have enjoyed today's video smash that thumbs up but as always guys i'll catch you on the next video